uh, it's important, m most important, that we communicate with parents and communities so that they understand and are part of a leading partner in that change. And that's really what we're trying to do. I appreciate that, though. Uh, last question, please. Uh, yes. Uh, my name is Quincy Moore, and I'm from Rhodes State in Ohio. Uh, could you tell me where are we at on the DREAM Act? We have over 3 million students graduating each year, and 65,000 of those would not be able to take advantage of the opportunities uh, they should have as uh, students who've been here all their lives. So if you could address that, and then the second part, uh, one of the things that happened in Illinois every year, used to, Chicago Magazine would list all the schools in the state, whether they're elementary schools, high school, or colleges, and they would let you know how many students uh, graduate from each of the schools, how many were on free lunch, how many is on the poverty right. uh, level in terms of scales, and it would give you an idea, on especially the parents, whether it's um, sons and daughters would go to school, whether it's elementary or high school, what are the chances of them getting out of that school, and what are the chances of them graduating from particular colleges? So it would give you an idea of the percentage of graduation from each school, so it would help them to understand where they should try to direct their sons and daughters. Are we at any time doing anything in terms of not so much mandating, but encouraging each state to have something like that so we would know about the education of the children? So I'll take the second part of your question first, which is yes, we are actually encouraging a new template that is one page, easy to read for parents and, and, and their communities around uh, higher education institutions. It's not something that we've mandated, but it is a template we've designed and we plan to spend more time on as an administration and revising uh, and hope to implement and hope to uh, engage in the broader higher education community to begin to um, uh, report their data in this manner. Um, you know, going to college for uh, families is one of the biggest decisions they'll make, you know, and um, even at an affordable community college, for many families that's, that's, a, that's an expense. Uh, so it's important for families to be able to have that information. If you visit our website at whitehouse.gov, you'll see the sample template. It's something we want to really try to do more of. The president spoke about the importance of doing this uh, recently in a speech at the University of Michigan. You also asked about the DREAM Act. Right. I'm glad you asked about the DREAM Act because it's something that we need to get passed. And I hope it's something that everybody in this room, as you visit with your congressional delegation on, on the Hill, uh, you ask them about the DREAM Act. Uh, this is, the, the president has been supporting the DREAM Act uh, since his time uh, in the State House in Illinois, certainly as a senator uh, here in the United States Senate, and we've made it a priority and have been pushing it um, with our partners uh, on, on Capitol Hill. Uh, unfortunately, the bipartisanship that used to be part of the DREAM Act when it was first introduced in Congress has all but eroded, and I think um, that's been in large part due to political winds and cycles in this city that come and go. But uh, the reality is, this is a lifeline for, you know, uh, tens of thousands of, of, of young people around the country who are trying to really um, do all they can to move forward and contribute fully to the society. Uh, so we believe we have a responsibility to get this done. We'd like to get it done as part of comprehensive immigration reform. We need your help to continue to press it. Uh, I know there are, I, and I meet with these young people, these dreamers, um, who are very impatient for change. And, you know, they've asked the president, why hasn't the DREAM Act passed? This is one of those that um, is, is a large-scale change. It will mean huge opportunity to young people. Um, <clears throat> but those types of changes sometimes take time, and, uh, and they're hard-fought. Uh, just as many of the changes were in the civil rights era. They're hard fought. They require folks and they require a national movement to continue pressing forward. Um, so we'd love to, love to enlist your partnership in that movement. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks so much. Enjoy your day. Thank you, uh, Tocayo, Roberto for uh, your comments this morning. I think uh, we see that we have a, a difficult task ahead of us. We are going to the Hill today to forward our message and tell the community college story so that we can affect the change that needs to be done for our students and for our constituents. 
At this time, this, the, this session is over, but please remember to complete your evaluations. It helps us make our programs better in the future. And there are several ways. You could pick one up, or you could use your application and your, uh, your cell phone. And please uh, remember to turn in. Thank you for, for your attention. We'll see you up on the hill. Our, our next session for the forum will be at the, at the hill. Thank you.